Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna answer a question that a lot of people are asking. And this is something that not everybody likes to talk about, but since you guys are asking and I think you wanna know if I know what I'm talking about when I mention stock photography. So how much money have I made in stock photography since 2010, so over the last 13 years? Before I answer these questions, I wanna tell you why I started stock photography and this this is different for everybody. Uh, there's many different reasons to do stock photography. You could be retired and just want to upload your pictures and have some fun. Maybe make a little bit of money while you're at it. You could do like I did and learn photography using stock photography. I've always been interested in photography, but I didn't no. know how to pursue this career. And you know, like life gets in the way. We have full-time jobs. Uh, it, it's just very difficult to pick up a camera and go and start making money right away. So I used stock photography to learn. For a long time, I was working at a bar at a restaurant and I had a camera and now people wanted pictures of items that I had in the bar. The restaurant owner wanted pictures of drinks and food and stuff like that. I didn't know how to do this. So I took props home, I set up lights, I started learning and uploading to stock agencies. These agencies told me, yes, this is sharp, we'll take it. This one's blurry, it's grainy, it's noisy, the lighting is bad. So I corrected that. I used stock photography to learn. A few years later, I had 3,000 cocktail drinks and I've made $50,000 from just drinks. So that gave me uh, street cred and that gave me confidence. Now I could approach different restaurants. I know I've sold $50,000 worth of, I've made $50,000 worth of drink photography and food photography. So I can approach different restaurants, different businesses, and I have something to back it up. I have 3,000 pictures that have been accepted to stock, plus I've taken probably over 10,000 pictures. Anyway, so that's how you learn with stock photography, and it gives you a lot more than just the images you've sold and the money you've made. And then you can also treat stock photography as a full-time job. Now this is something I didn't want to do. I didn't want to hire models, I didn't want to stay on top of this and make every week a photo shoot for stock photography and it, you can and people make a lot of money still to this day in 2023 there's full-time stock photographers but you have to treat it like a job and that's not something I wanted to do I wanted to make this fit my lifestyle instead of me fitting for the photography so how much money have I made with stock photography over the last 13 years so let's break this down a little bit. The first two years were a wash because I was learning my camera. It took me six months to get accepted into Shutterstock and I barely got a few images in there. So the first two years, I made like 200 bucks. I'm not even gonna count those. Now the last three years, I've been super busy with YouTube because uh, I wanted this to be, you know, like every other success story with YouTube. You upload a few videos and all of a sudden you're at 100,000, you're making millions. Well, that's not always the case. <laughs> So in my experience, this is how much money I made over the last 28 days with YouTube. Yeah, it's not, it's not a typo. That's exactly how much money I made. And that's one of my best months. So if I go back to the last 90 days, this is how much money I made from YouTube. So if you can see, it's very steady. It's not climbing, it's not... And again, this is my English channel. I have my Spanish channel that's not even monetized. So that one, I'm doing all the same work. And that one's just not growing yet, but that's part of this how am i able to do youtube is because i'm making money from stock photography so now the first two years were washed the last three years have been youtube so that leaves an eight eight year window how much money have i made over the last eight years with stock photography and on average uh total i made hundred and sixty thousand dollars so let's do the math that's hundred and sixty thousand divided by eight years that's almost twenty thousand dollars a year so you know that's it's not a lot it's not you know, it, for something that's not my full-time job, I will take a $16,000 a year raise or a $20,000 a year raise. That's quite a bit of money. Uh, but again, remember, this is not my full-time job. I didn't want to do stock photography full-time because I enjoy it. When you like something, you treat it as a job, you're going to get burnt out and then you're not going to want to do it anymore. And that's not what I wanted to happen. I wanted this to be a long-term residual income, passive income, where I don't have to worry about it. Whenever I have time, I upload 
and I, if I want to learn a new technique in photography, I can do this until my pictures get better and better, I can practice, and I can diversify not only my life but my portfolio and different revenue streams. That's one of the best things about stock photography. It's consistent and it is just another revenue stream. Now, because of everything I've learned through stock photography, I'm able to go find clients and do uh, free, freelance work for different clients around the country, which I've been doing. Now, these are not always steady. Sometimes I'll have work for a month straight. Other times I don't have work for two months. But stock photography is always there as a backup. That's why I enjoy it. I don't have to stress out about if I don't have work this month. Sometimes I'll make you know $10,000 in a month and then I have three months where I don't have any work. But stock photography keeps paying the rent, keeps bringing in a little bit more money, and that's how I used it. Now, if you wanna go full-time, you can. There's many reasons why a lot of people do stock photography. For me, it was more of the, the flexibility, being able to shoot what I wanted, when I wanted, the passive income, knowing that there's always gonna be money coming in from work I did years ago. And then there's also the variety. I get to photograph any subject I like, get better at it, and now I'll be able to approach new clients and uh, knowing that I've learned new techniques, that I've mastered new techniques, and just become a better photographer because of the practice and the feedback I get from the reviewers. When they tell you your image is grainy, or it's the highlights are overexposed, or there's issues with your lens, then you get to learn. You get to examine the photo and see what they're talking about. Now, they're not always right. Sometimes they'll reject images because they already it's a saturated market, and that's fine. But at least take the advice, look at your images, and see if they are good or not. You know, it's that's how you learn. You just take feedback, research, and practice. <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking me uh, why I don't shoot like models, why I don't do lifestyle photo shoots, and I don't do all this like like a lot of other stock photographers are. Uh, pushing and like I said before the reason is because this is not my full-time job this is how I learned photography yes there's a lot more money when you do lifestyle photo shoots right now we're looking for a variety and people different colors different mixing different people uh, and that's what's selling a lot a lot of people coexisting having fun parties all these things that's what's selling I don't have time for that right now I'm busy with other photography jobs. The majority of my income comes from shooting for restaurants and that's what I'm doing right here. I know this is a little different setup for me. It's a little a little different studio and that's because I'm in a hotel. Uh, I'm shooting for quite a few restaurants in North Idaho. They put me up in his hotel room and I probably should get going soon because I have a photo shoot here in like a half hour. So I hope this answered your question. How much money am I making for stock photography? Uh, if I break it down over the last 10 years, 13 years, it's somewhere around sixteen dollars to $20,000 a year. Right now, without being active in stock photography for the last three years, I'm making anywhere from $1,000 to $500 bucks a month. That doesn't sound like a lot, but like I said, I've been very busy with different projects and different areas of photography. Uh, I'm also selling prints now because I learned landscapes through stock photography. Now I get to go do client work, whether it's portraits. I shoot a lot of portraits. Uh, and also, uh, commercial work like this that I'm doing right now. But anyway, I think I need to hurry up and get my equipment ready. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, you want to go to work? Come on, let's go to work.